back again with another video and this time we're cutting right to the chase. A lot of people have been asking me uh, what do, have I been eating? Uh, I've been a well-known food enthusiast. I ate a lot of junk food. How do you go from uh, maintaining that or how do you go from that diet of junk food and fast food to getting this uh, gastric sleeve surgery and then having to totally change the way uh, you eat and what you eat. So I am dedicating this whole video to just that. What have I been eating since the surgery? We are just past two months uh, since I had the surgery. I'm still around uh, 40 pound weight loss. I've increased my uh, exercise. I started doing some light weights and for the first time in a long time, I actually, uh, instead of walking, I jogged and I actually jogged a full mile without stopping. Uh, and that's been years since A, I've jogged, and B, since I've been able to jog a full mile without starting and stopping. So I was very excited about that. Uh, what we have today is a lot of what, this is not everything that I've been eating, but a lot of what I have been eating since my surgery. Uh, I've said before in other videos that the purpose of the surgery, I was uh, very depressed with myself and how I looked and how much weight I had gained since I got married, actually. Uh, I, to a quick recap, I had uh, I got married around 195. Uh, we cut to 2018. Uh, in about the beginning of April, I was just shy of 300 pounds. And I felt that was a disservice to me. I felt that was a disservice to my kids. I felt that was a real big disservice to my wife. So... Uh, and I had grown very depressed with uh, how, how uh, things have gotten with me. So uh, I had decided to get that gastric sleeve surgery. I did that in July. So here we are a couple months later. Uh, and I've completely revamped uh, what I eat. And um, so yeah, so let's get to it. What you need to know is uh, after the surgery, or even in general, I think uh, everybody needs to be more hydrated. Uh, and be drinking more fluids. A, that uh, takes away, curbs some of the, the hunger uh, that you wanna maybe snack all day. If you keep your st stomach full with liquids, um, it helps out a lot. So uh, I've been drinking this uh, pH water that I get from Costco, uh, 12 bottles for tw uh, 10 bucks. Um, and it is great. I have these uh, all the time. I have them um, in my refrigerator. I have them in the pantry. Uh, I drink a lot of water. Uh, so the pH water uh, is good. It uh, gives me electrolytes and stuff. Um, so very pleased with that. And it's 33 ounces. Technically, I'm supposed to drink two of these a day. I think we're all supposed to be drinking two of these a day, like 64 ounces of fluids a day. Um, I don't drink 64 ounces of water a day. But uh, the next thing I show you is, is actually uh, where I get a lot of my liquids. So the next one is uh, Powerade Zero. Now, these were recommended to me uh, in my pre-op diet. I had to go on a, a diet for about a week before I even had the surgery. Um, and they stress Powerade Zeros, low sugar drinks, uh, Crystal Light, that kind of thing. Uh, I have gotten, I don't want to say hooked on Powerade Zeros, but I can tell you that when these things go on sale at the grocery store, I can buy these, these 32 ounce bottles for 50 cents each. Um, and I have really taken to the grape and the orange. Those are my two favorite flavors. Um, it's right now. There's also a fruit punch, which I like the least, but I still like it. And a, a blue flavor. Blue is not a flavor; it's a color. I don't know what color or I don't know what flavor it is. But the blue also. When these things are chilled, they're delicious. So I drink uh, at least two of these a day, which gives me 64 ounces, on top of uh, whatever water I'm consuming in, in between. Okay, let's get to the food. So now we have the uh, meatless grounds from this company called corn i think it's pronounced q u o r n now i started actually eating this before i had any kind of surgery trying to get more um, plant-based foods into our diets this is great for um the picture here shows for spaghetti sauce i've made tacos with it i have put it in spaghetti sauce uh it's virtually uh you can't tell and in my opinion if you're a hardcore meat eater maybe you can tell i have snuck this in for making tacos for my kids and meat sauce uh, for spaghetti and um, not very many complaints. I did get one complaint. Uh, my older son uh, detected something a little different when we made tacos one night, uh, but I just told him I bought the food from, a, from the ground beef from a different store. Anyway, uh, I like this. Um, I've added it to, I made a, a meatless burrito bowl the other day 
with uh, cauliflower rice, which we'll get to in a second, uh, black beans, and uh, these meatless grounds, and some taco seasoning. And uh, I think it's a great uh, meat substitute. Uh, another thing from the same company are these uh, meatless pesto and mozzarella chicken cutlets. I have to tell you, uh, I made the these come out. If you add spaghetti sauce and top it with mozzarella cheese, this is really close to chicken parmesan. And no joke, I made this for my family one time and my wife didn't even know it was a meatless dish. I know she's probably gonna see this video at some point and be like, what? But yes, uh, with the sauce and, and baked right, these were delicious, I have to say. Uh, they're, they're a little big for me. They're, they're coming two in a box. They're a little big. For me, I can eat about half. Um, but I have to say, uh, for anyone who has doubts about how um, like healthier food, like the, there's been tremendous strides have been made in, in healthy foods. I know it gets a bad rap, um, but if you're really trying to make a difference and change, for the better, there's a lot more stuff out there than there used to be. Uh, the other one I have, I've discovered for lunches is from this company called Eating Well. And this was actually an impulse buy. I just happened to see it in the freezer section. I decided to give it a try. Um, they have a couple different ones. Uh, I actually ate the the other one. It's more of like, like a, a pasta with vegetables and uh, some sort of sauce. This is Vermont cheddar mac and cheese. 17 grams of protein. It's vegetarian. You get one pack, one cup of vegetables in in the serving. It's pretty easy. I think you uh, you get it from freezer to plate in about I don't know six minutes total when you after you microwave it. Um, but uh, so on to our next thing. I have these Jolly Green Giant riced vegetables, uh, the cauliflower. Um, again, a lot like anything, proper seasoning and, and proper treatment. You can get uh, uh, anything to taste pretty good. So I'm trying to eat less grains and rice and carbs, uh, like car carbs based on bread and stuff. So I started getting into riced vegetables. Um, and I've had this one and I've had the, there's a broccoli cauliflower mix, which is really good. But again, I use this in place of uh, what I would do in a burrito bowl. And I, I make, this is the rice, black beans, the, the meatless uh, grounds. Um, and I added a, a quarter of a cup of taco seasoning and it came out delicious. Uh, I have to say it was really good. Um, and again, I had to look for these things. I, I knew the stuff was out there, but I never paid much attention to it. So uh, trying to reduce my starch intake and I've discovered rice, rice vegetables and the cauliflower is great. Um, these, I haven't tried these yet. I actually meant to make these the other day. These are cauliflower fries. So I'm gonna slip these in for my kids one day in lieu of regular French fries, um, just to see what they're like. Um, again, just trying to find healthier versions of things that we would normally eat. So if I'm trying to make stuff for the kids um, and they want fries, boom, I'm gonna throw these on there, get rid of the bag, destroy the evidence, and uh, maybe with enough ketchup, uh, they will be none the wiser. I don't know. That's that's untested theory so far, but we're gonna try uh, For snacks um, I bought these uh, Kind protein bars they have uh, the kind company makes several different kinds obviously um, I had the their other ones before they had like sea salt and dark chocolate and Those were those were good, too, but um, since I'm supposed to be getting more protein in my diet since the surgery I uh, I went with the protein bars and they are great to grab and go on the way out. Uh, I have to honestly tell you, um, all of August and all of September, September I haven't stopped at a um, fast food restaurant at all. In August I had, my first foray was at In-N-Out, but I literally had a sliver of a burger and it wasn't even in a bun, it was wrapped in lettuce. I could only eat like, a, I don't know, like a, I don't know, fraction of the burger. So I haven't had any fast food. I haven't had sodas since early July. So uh, things have been a, a real uh, turnaround for me. So yeah, the kind protein bars are good. And I go back and forth. Like I'll buy the other ones and I'll buy these. They're delicious. And again, something I knew about but wasn't super familiar with. So I, uh, I really like these. This is the white chocolate and cinnamon almond. And then it comes with, there's another one that comes in the same pack um, at with uh, it's peanut butter based. Anyway, these also 
You got them at Costco for a box of I don't know how many. Uh, it was like 20 bucks. And you know, some of the stuff sounds like a lot of money, but in the grand scheme of what you're spending on fast food and this and that, uh, I feel it's a worthwhile investment to make better selections. And uh, I yeah, and, and so yeah, so making better selections has does have a price, but I think it's all worth it. Um, these, I wish I had the whole package. These are um, little snack packs. Uh, I get these at Trader Joe's. Um, they come in a variety of flavors. The one I've recently picked up has dried cranberries, almonds, uh, little chocolate, pistachios, and cashews. They're like little hand, they're little handful of snacks. These are another grab and go item. Uh, if you're out and about uh, doing stuff, throw them in your purse, throw them in your bag. They are great to have on hand. Again, if you have the food at the ready, um, you're less likely to make poor decisions. And that's something that I had heard about and people would tell me about, but I never really implemented. I never had my, had this stuff near me. So I'll throw a couple of these things in the car, have them in the uh, center console or something, just in case you get like nervous, uh, not nervous, but uh, if in case you get like, you know, you need to eat, uh, you know, boredom brings on eating, sitting in traffic certainly out here uh, makes you want to eat. If you have stuff that's healthy, it'll help curb the, the, the ability to go off the rails and eat something that you shouldn't be eating. And that's not with or without surgery. Like if you just have this food at the ready, you wouldn't stop, maybe you wouldn't stop at McDonald's if you had an orange in the car or if you had these snacks or these one of these protein bars. Uh, so there's that. Um, so those are some snacks. Oh, and then uh, one of the other things that I recently got into is uh, these Beyond Meat. Now these are catching on in popularity. Um, again, I was not, the idea of it, the, the name is kind of weird, uh, the idea of it's kind of crazy because uh, I've had veggie burgers, I've had meatless burgers, and a lot of them taste like cardboard, the consistency's weird, you have to do a lot to them to get them to taste remotely something uh, enjoyable like meat. Um, I tried these, these usually run two for... Five ninety nine to come in a two pack. Um, I these come in a two pack, usually two for four ninety nine or five ninety nine, depending. Sometimes they go on sale. These are amazing. They cook just like burgers. They look just like burgers. I season them like burgers. I put them on the grill like a burger. Um, they cook just as fast, if not faster. They offer 20 grams of plant protein per serving, soy-free, gluten-free, no GMOs. It's a plant-based burger patty. I have to tell you, uh, I had these the other day. I've had them before, but I had it the other day, and I treated it like something I would buy at like an In-N-Out or something like that. And I did put a slab of cheese on it, tomatoes, like all the seasonings, all the things, and then I wrapped it in lettuce like I would at In-N-Out. And it was delicious. Um, the, it, the consistency is very uh, red meat-like. Um, I have nothing but good things to say about this. I don't these balance breaks, uh, these are great uh, single serving. They come with uh, cheese cubes. And this one is cashews and um, dried cranberries. Each snack has seven grams of protein, 15% calcium, and they're only 180 calories. These are not as easily to transport because there's cheese in them, but great uh, uh, snack to curb your hunger. Um, sometimes when I'm working at home putting these videos together, these are my go-to midday snack. And then of course we have the Harvest Snaps, Green Pea Snack Crisps. Again, I'm trying to find healthy things. I like potato chips, but they're greasy and salty and this and that. So I try to find something else. I discovered these. If you're someone that likes to crunch on chips and stuff, this is a good replacement for that. Um, I'm not a big green pea person in like frozen foods or vegetables, but I found these snacks to be A, highly addictive, so you have to watch how many you eat. I feel a lot less guilty eating these than I do some of the other things. And lastly, we have um, avocados. I have eaten more avocados in the past month than I have eaten, I think, in my entire time in California. Uh, I am finding out that avocados go great with anything. I'll make a, a scrambled egg with a side of avocado. I'll eat a quarter a cup of cottage cheese, half an avocado. 
Now, the thing with avocados is you can buy them ripe, and they, they ripen up fast. So you got to kind of stay on it. I try to eat at least half of one a day, but usually by the end of the day, I, I'll have a, consumed at least one avocado. Um, when they're on sale, they're great. We have an avocado tree in the front that we're desperately trying to water to keep the... Uh, to keep them coming here, save us some some money, and have them grown right here on the at the house. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm. That's uh, avocados have become a, a mainstay in my in my eating. So yeah, so that's it. That's what I've been eating. Um, feel free to ask questions, comment below, uh, give me tips on future videos you'd like to see, uh, or if you have any uh, ideas for for food or products or recipes even that you like that I don't know anything about because I'm still new in all this and I'm still trying to come up with um, healthier ways to eat things that I normally like. So I, I go with this for now and uh, that's it. So thank you very much. See you in the next video.